Again today, I am going to talk to Anura Kapitipala regarding upcoming presidential election. In my previous video, I talked to you, Anura, about why Sajid Premadasa. And today, let's talk about the next Prime Minister for Sri Lanka. So, Anura, in your opinion, who should be the next Prime Minister for Sri Lanka? Well, as we discussed in our previous video, why Sajid Premadas and I think I have given you uh, quite a detailed answer. And in this uh, particular scenario, my opinion is that there are two presidential candidates, main candidate, that is uh, Sajid Premadas and uh, Gotabe Rajapaksa. From my understanding and the reports I am receiving, I think uh, we know now which way the wind is blowing. Yeah. So most likely if Sajid uh, were to become the president of Sri Lanka, I think he is promising a new direction, new journey, new age, new politics. So when you promise yeah. that sort of new kind of politics, new beginning, new journey, then obviously people are voting for him for a new start, complete fresh start. So in that sense, I think Sajid should be thinking of appointing someone completely new. For example, he himself said he would be giving the positions in the government for people who have no allegations, allegations of corruptions, yes. who has no involvement with underworld drugs or any other offences and who has maintained good reputation uh, throughout their political life. Yeah. So I think in that particular sense, uh, Field Marshal Sarat Fonseca is a good candidate to be the Prime Minister, next Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. For example, he is able to receive enough support within Sri Lanka as well as uh, within the international community. So that means if Sarat Paul and Seka become a prime minister, that's what you are meaning? Yes, I think that is one choice uh, for Sajid if he really wants to give a real start, new start for Sri Lanka. Then there are other people such as, you know, well-educated um, Dr. Harsha De Silva is a good candidate to become the Prime Minister. Then you have uh, ministers like Talata Tukorala, Tissa Tanaik, Ajit P. Pereira. And even if Sajid wants to create more inclusive government representing real Sri Lanka, then he can even go people like Kabir Hasim. Don't forget that President Premadasa shocked the country when he appointed uh, D.B. Vijayatung as Prime Minister because many people thought that Garmini Dissanayak or Lalit Atulat Mudali would become Prime Minister under his leadership. Even the London Times and the London Evening Standard covered this story because it was not shocked to the Sri Lanka but to the entire world. So Sajid being the next president, he should take a strong yeah. decision as a leader who is genuinely starting a new journey and if Sajid wants to go for a broad alliance then he should be like the, his party include political parties such as Hello Rumi then even partly Champika is a good choice to become Prime Minister and Andhra Kumar Disanayak and even R. Sambandha but this is where Sajid has to be more creative, more dynamic and doing the unthinkable. So on the other side, uh, Gotabe, if he were to become president, then Gotabe should be focusing on a new uh, journey as he himself saying he is promising new Sri Lanka, new beginning. Then obviously it is time for him to in a family dynasty and say look 
I'm the president and I'm going to appoint somebody new, intelligent, young, dynamic person. So it, it does necessar doesn't necessarily mean he should appoint his brother, President Mahindra Rajapaksa. Mahindra Rajapaksa should be in this occasion. He should give away to Gotabi Rajapaksa and say, look, it is you are the president. You are able to appoint whoever you like. And then Mahindra Rajapaksa should play an advisory role, such as in India, Sonia Gandhi, who led the Congress party to victory. And she allowed Manmohan Singh to be the prime minister. Yeah. And she played an advisory role behind the scene. So that Mahindra Rajapaksa can do as well. Cool. In your opinion, whoever becomes president, international support is critical for Sri Lanka. And who is most likely to gain the support? Another. Yeah, it's a question of not uh, who is able to get the most support from the international community. It's a question of who is able to put forward a good program for Sri Lanka. From, from my own experience, especially yes. working in the United Kingdom in political area, I think both Sajid Premadas and Gotabi Rajapaksa has to prove to the international community that certain things, for example, areas of human rights, rule of law, physical policies, good governance, independent judiciary, uh, democratic institutions, freedom of the people. When these things are in place and when these things are demonstrated to the international community, that person is most likely to get the support from the international community. Yeah. For example, we know the United States, the Great Britain, the European Union has many times talked about Sri Lanka and they have emphasized there are things that Sri Lanka needs to improve. For example, these are certain indicators and these indicators are primary uh, factors in deciding which person is going to get the support. So it is important that whoever becomes the president, they need to emphasize a good governance throughout the country. I know some people would say, we need a strong leader for Sri Lanka. Being strong itself yes. is not a criterion to get international support. That person needs to include uh, those uh, things I have previously mentioned and that person is able to get the most support from the international community. Yeah. Okay, Andra, can we expect real change under any of them? Well, this is a very interesting question that many people around the world, even here in the United Kingdom, people are very disenchanted with politics because people do not any longer trust any politicians or whatever they say because we see the same old wine in new different bottles. But I think one of these, uh, the two candidates who are standing for the two main candidates, Gautabi and Sajid, they really need to think that are they going to carry on the old politics or new age politics, giving a new vision for Sri Lanka, genuinely making a change for the country and genuinely improving the quality of lives in Sri Lankan people as well as improving the democratic institutions and really rather than giving a wish list for the country and really saying what they can do for the country, making a real difference. This is, I really cannot answer because this is a question that we have to wait and see. Of course, Anra, we will have so much more to talk and I will be talking to you again. Thank you for talking to me here today. It's my pleasure and I look forward to talking to you again, Naya. Thank you again. Thank you very much.